Digit Span Test The Digit Span Test was a subtest of both Wrestler Adult Intelligence Skill WAIS and the Wrestler Memory Skill WMS. Clients will read a sequence of numbers and ask to repeat the same sequence back to the examiner in order forward span or in reverse order backward span. This Digit Span Test was developed by Tini Momba, Melissa Lamar, Ruth Swenson, Dana L. Penny, Ajit Kamlin, and David J. Lidbon. The purpose of this assessment are number one, to test the participant's working memory outside general intelligence along with learning potential, number two, to assess patient short term memory, and number three, to assess patient attention. This type of this assessment is performance based assessment and clinician rated assessment. Target population General target population for this assessment is neuropsychiatric or cognitive disorders, including dementia, depression, and malanger neurocognitive dysfunction. It is also can be applied to assess people handicapped by illiteracy. However, for digit forwards, it is specific for patients with profound memory impairment such as Alzheimer's disease. Based on research by Ravi Kesh et al. 2019, digit span is questionable for those with low education and low literacy and future research is needed. Generally, in digit span, components being assessed such as attention, concentration, sequencing, number facility, and auditory short-term memory. However, for digits forward specifically, it is for short-term road auditory memory processes and digit backwards for attention and executive function process. Administration procedure for digit span. Digit span test is either conducted verbally or using computer program. A sequence of number is shown or read out to the client. Then the client is then told to repeat the numbers that were shown or read to them. This process continues until the client can no longer remember either the full sequence of numbers or the correct order. In the reverse trial of the digit spans, a series of numbers to, was read to the client and the client is asked to repeat the sequence in reverse order. The sequence is also continued until the participant makes an error. Both forward and reverse trial are given twice. However, after the client made three errors in the number sequence, the test ends. Here is the demonstration on how digit span test will be administered either using computer program or verbally. Uh, our objective for today is we are going to assess on digit span test for, on you, Ms. Julia. I will explain on the digit span test. Digit span test are two test two parts which is which are digit forward and digit backwards. We will start with digit forward. Uh, I am going to say some numbers. Listen carefully, and when I am through, I want you to say right up to me. For example, one, two. You will repeat again. One, two. Am I clear with you now, Miss Julia? Um, oh yes, I do understand. Okay, we will start with item one, trial one, and I will proceed until we are done. Okay. Repeat after me. One, seven. One, seven. Next, six, three. Six, three. Okay, item two. Five, eight, two, three, eight, two. Next, six, nine, four. Nine, six, four. Eight, item three, six, four, three, nine. Six, three, nine, four. Now we move on to the second part of the sign, which is digit backward. Now I am going to say some more numbers, like this time when I stop. I want you to say them backward. For example, if I say one, nine, what would you say? Nine, one. Am I right? Nine, one. That's right. Okay, we'll start with item one, trial one, two, four, four, two. Nice. Five, seven, seven, five. Good job. Item two, six, two, nine. Nine, six, two. Next, four, one, five. One, four, five. Okay, good job. Trial one for item three. Three, two, seven, nine. What? Nine, two, seven, three. Thank you, Miss Julia, for your cooperation. Thank you, Miss Julia, for your cooperation. From the video, the patient scored two point for digit forward and scored two point for digit backward. The total score is four point. Patient may have problem in cognitive. Administration time for this assessment is less than 5 minutes. There is no exact duration. However, it depends on the patient on how many the patient got the correct answer. Scoring procedure. The digit span test is scored by the amount of numbers the participant was able to remember in each test. The examiner must add the total number of correct sequences backwards and forwards. Digit forward plus digit backwards equals to digit span raw score. The maximum score for the digit span subtest is 30, 16 for digit forward and 14 for digit backward. Interpretation for scores, 6 numbers is the average score for both digit forward and digit backward. Psychometric properties for digit span. For reliability test retest, it is found that the correlation coefficient between test and retest to be 0 0.67 Derner et al. 1950. And also, all correlation was significantly higher for digit backward than digit forward, testing 12 of 12 comparisons with the value P less than 0 0.01 sign test. This is suggests that the ranking of participants across trial was more consistent in digit backwards than in digit forward testing. Woods et al. 2011. For construct validity, 
Sharm et al. 1990 investigated the constructs relative of each test of attention, including digit spans forwards and backwards, and reported that they loaded on the constructs of immediate attention span taken from the current model of attention. For the criterion validity, digit span demonstrated moderate criterion validity when correlated with the Stanford Binet 4 composite score R0.48 and Stanford Binet 4 score short term memory R0.52, Ressler 1997. Discriminant validity. Digit span effectively discriminates between individuals providing credible effort and individuals providing suspect effort, with average width effect size of 1.34. This information is crucial as it indicates that the measure is valid and effective despite updated WEIS test versions. Advantages of digit span test The test is free and it requires less than 5 minutes to administer. It does not require extensive training for the therapist and also it is effective in identifying cognitive problems in multiple cultures and languages. Disadvantage of digit span test, it is relatively low reliability. The test is a screening tool, not a diagnostic tool. The results of the test are influenced by the amount of education someone has received, their age and their gender.